First, dump all the accessories out. You do have to pop off the hand, and then that can go snugly in there. I can't... Oh, there we go. The Casey mask, you have to position just right for the eyeballs. Of course, yeah, there's another thing, the mask. I did find, you can, if you want, you can make Dork Lord Casey. You know, it's like he's got eyes on the back of his head, menacing to his enemies, but up front, it's kind of like, it's like he's wearing like a Cerebro <laughs> to enhance those mental powers. But yeah, so this Casey, he's wildly kitted out. Let's get, let's let's take this back from Krang. Is Casey insecure? Is is that why he needs so many weapons? I guess we could put the the hockey stick. The clip on the side is a really nice touch. You can put put that in. Put the sword in. Look at look at this freaking Gazunga Gungala guy with all his wild stuff. That's insane. This dude is insane. This guy's nuts. This guy's like uh Kmart Batman going wild in the sporting goods section. This is freaking cool. Of course, he's a beautiful man. Very 2003 Casey, I think. That's what I picture in my head. You can just, I don't know, you can't see. I've been watching the 2003 series with the Ninja Turtle Power Hour podcast, which I'm a part of. Yeah, I mean, this is 2003 Casey. You can't tell me otherwise. He's got the cool, like the boots, the boot style. Freaking nuts, man. Freaking nuts. It's just, I, I love everything about this figure. I love how crazy and roided out he is. And it's just, I'm surprised this isn't a deluxe figure. Because they include so much with Casey. I swear, it's like they blew the budget on Casey. Whoever, over at Mattel, someone's just like a diehard Casey fan. Like, we gotta go over the top with Casey in the accessories. And I'm glad they did. Because that that's super awesome. So yeah, if you wanted to pair him down to just the bare bones, regular Casey. Yeah, like that. And so I can show you. So he has like a standard body, nothing coming off there. This piece, you could take off the leg piece. And then I'm always interested to see how they do like the different harnesses. Cause they could stick with like one exact style, but they always, you know, they're always switching it up. And Casey's a little more interesting, so. Get him there. And then you have the regular Steal Your Girl Casey Jones. You can put the armor on your other folks. It's kind of actually, now that I think about it, it's kind of like a reverse kind of armor than Trapjaw has. Hold on. See, that fits. That also fits very nicely. So like, oh ho ho, how the tables have turned. Casey Jaw. That's just cool. That's cool. Very true to just Casey just being just a, a, a dumb jackass. I found it oddly 2003 Casey is the most insane Casey. Like there's a there's a part in one when, when they first meet Casey where he's like running around like in the turtle lair. And he's just, like, breaking all their stuff. Like, he breaks, just recklessly breaks all their stuff. And the turtles are, like, super annoyed with him. Because why wouldn't you be some, like, lunatic destroying your house? And he just doesn't care at all. Like, I would, after that, like, you come into my house and you break not just, like, one piece of furniture, but multiple pieces of furniture. Like, we're not friends after that. We are not <laughs> friends by any stretch of the imagination. Yeah. I always... You see, you see a lot of Casey, but he should be... He's the goalie, right? But I don't see Casey as the goalie. But yeah, so this figure is, is freaking phenomenal. Obviously, he, he's going to go great with all his turtle brothers, of course, with Raph in the background. They're having like a good old rollicking good time. I can show you a little bit. There's Casey, how he like, he mod, he says how he mods the hockey gear. So like, cause he just blips through the portal, steals the turtle van and you know, they're having a good old time. The packaging for Casey, of course, does not disappoint. Good guy, 
good guy, He-Man, Leo, one man's weapons rack, and boy is this true. So you can see he's just stalked to the hilt. Wild, this wasn't a deluxe. On the back, he's fighting off against Mouse Jaw, all the mousers there. We got April as the sorceress in the back, going nuts, going wild. And of course, fill bag with accessories. Yeah, I mean, I'd say it's nuts. It's nuts. Of course, I did the flap, the standard flap. I did a, uh, on these ones, I did a really great range of flaps. Of course, he comes with the mini comic Spirit of Grey Shell, which we went over a little bit. He's stacked to the hill. You have weapons in there. You have a bag full of weapons. So I cut all the ties. There was just a whole mess of ties, of course. You get the Casey himself. You gotta, you gotta kind of angle the mask just, just right to get there. So he comes with, you know, his harness thing. He can hold the bag. He's got the little leg bracer thing. No arm stuff, though I believe. No, those are molded on. Those will go. And then for the accessories, we get this tech, techie attorney of staff thing. I don't know. I assume it's something like that. He gets a cool sword, because when does Casey not need, like, a rad sword? He, of course, gets... In, in the comic, he talks about how he, like, upgrades his gear. So he adds some, like, Eternia magic-y stuff to his hockey stick. Here's the bag. Which, this is such a cool bag. It's all, like, high-tech, low-tech, techy. In, in the... Um, there's, a, there's a new comic, The Untold Destiny of the Foot Clan. And Casey Jones joins the Foot Clan Karai's leadership. And the other members are giving him grief for carrying over a bag of, like, gear all the time. And it is so funny. It is. It does become so ludicrous. Because it's like, why does he need so much? Like, a sword. Like, Donnie has a bow staff and Casey, he's like, no, I need a sword. I need a hockey stick. I need this staff. I, oh, I need a hammer. Like, he's just so over the top. It, it's so funny. So you have the bag of accessories here, the cool freaking hammer with the awesome like skull details, and it's 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 solid too. And then he comes with like an axe thing, very similar to of course the Megator Krang axe. I mean it's the same mold. So you could even if you wanted to, you could then have Krang go dual wielding with the axes, <laughs> which is. Which is nutso. And then you get the, the the karate chop hockey glove. Which is freaking cool. Like a, the jitsu hand. Casey Jones. Turtles of Grey Skull. Another banger. Maybe one of the best in the line. Just because they went so full tilt with all the stuff. I mean, you want Casey. That's the cool thing. The way that everything pegs together. You want Casey to have like a... A freaking axe hand? There you go. <laughs> Look at... I, I can't... This is the Mezco Mikey. This has nothing to do with anything. But get yourself the Turtles of Grey Skull Mikey just so you can put it on other stuff. Look how, look how great he looks. Like, this is Mikey. <laughs> Mikey thought he was having a good day. He runs into freaking this guy, and he's just like, oh my god. So rad. So rad. Thanks for watching, folks. Have yourself a lovely day, a lovely rest of the week. Like, follow, subscribe if you want to, whatever. That spiel. I'll see you later. He's just, he's too good. He's too freaking good. He's like a one-man accessory set, you know? Good night, Irene. I just love him. I love Turtles of Grey Skull so much.